So we're gonna start out our print discussion by taking a look at three common features of printing. We're gonna look at orientation, we're gonna look at scaling, and we're gonna look at the margins. So let's take a look. And I kinda hinted at these earlier in the previous lecture, but let's see them in action here. So first, the orientation. Right now, I'm looking at my page here in print preview, and I'm looking at it in portrait mode, up and down. Right, I got an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I got 11 inches worth of space, minus the margin, so give and take, a couple of inches perhaps. Now, but an up and down vertical page here. Now, my document, my spreadsheet, is naturally, it's wider than it is tall. Just the way of looking at it right now. So I believe to give me maximum space and the best real estate or use of that real estate, I think by changing it to landscape, I'm gonna have a, a better way of enlarging this document and making it more presentable. Same deal with the chart. The chart is wider than it is tall. So let's try changing the orientation. So just a reminder, I'm gonna hit the back arrow here, take me back to my main interface of Excel. To get into print preview, I went to file, I went down to print. That's simple, I'm now in print preview. Now on the left hand side of print preview, I've got a couple of the more common features that people work with as they go to print a document. One of them is the orientation. And I can see that I'm currently in portrait mode. So I'm just gonna change that. We'll go from portrait to landscape. And right away, a very nice feature here inside of 2013, as well as 2010 and later releases, right away I get to see the effect take place. And as you can see, I've now created much more real estate that I can start to consume within my document scaling that thing much larger so it becomes more readable. So there's your orientation, portrait or landscape. I like landscape for this document right here. If I was working on a list, something that's really tall, then perhaps portrait mode would be a better suit for that type of document. So now let's talk about scaling. I wanna bump this thing up. Right now I got 100% scaling, but it's taking up roughly half the page. So I can bump that up quite a bit. So back into the options on the left-hand side, down at the bottom, I got scaling, and currently I can see that it's currently no scaling. I'll give that a click. And I've got a few preset options here. Fit, fit sheet on one page, fit all columns on one page, fit all rows on one page. These three options here are about scaling down. You've got a large document, lots of records. I wanna get all of that to fit on a single page. Then great, you can use those, and Excel will work its magic and fit them on there for you or at least do its very best without getting too small and fun, right? Now, all about scaling down. I can't scale up using those options. So what I am gonna do is go down to custom scaling options. This will open up the old page setup window. This has been around for years inside of Excel. And inside of here, I've got a lot of the repeat commands that I'm seeing out in the main print interface. But in here, I got scaling, adjust to, currently it's at 100%. Let's try bumping that up. I'm gonna to go to, let's try 160%. See how that fits. I'm gonna hit okay. Look at that. That looks pretty good. I, I got pretty close to that right-hand side, that arrow, right? I, maybe I wanna get rid of that arrow. Maybe just highlight that in red. That way I can get even more space there. But it's, it's, it's a choice. It's a preference that we get to make as we go print the document. What's gonna best communicate? You know, looking at it again, a second glance here, I think it's actually pretty nice having that arrow out there. All that white space, it creates a lot of contrast and really draws attention to that specific area. So I think I'll, maybe I'll leave it. I could maybe bump it up maybe like three, four, five more percent, but I think I'm gonna leave it as is. So much larger, taking advantage, full advantage of that landscape page that I now have. Now I've got another issue inside of there. I got my charts. And right now that chart is broken between two pages. I can actually see down here below, I've actually got three pages. Let's see why I got three pages. I'm gonna hit the arrow down here. There's the rest of my chart. Oh, that arrow actually did go off the side of the page. We'll see how to fix that here in a moment. I could go back in and scale it down, maybe a, a percent, get that arrow back on its, to its own page. It's kind of a waste right there, right? But we're gonna see a different way to do that. I don't wanna do it in here because I actually like the size but I do wanna trim that arrow a little bit. So we've got the orientation, we got scaling. Let's try the margins. 
So there's a few different ways that we can work with margins. Take a look. I can go back down into my options here and they do have some margin options. Right now it says normal margins. Left and right is almost three quarters of an inch each. So roughly an inch and a half is being taken up by left and right margins. And I can get into there and they do have some preset margins I can work with. Let's see, uh, wide and narrow. I can go to custom. This will open up the previous window where we saw the page tab and I changed the scaling. But now I'm on the margins tab and I can numerically adjust my margins. Now I never found much success getting in here and changing the margins, hitting OK, looking. Mm, that didn't work. Get back in this interface, maybe monkey around a little bit more with the margins, go out and look at it. It's kind of a back and forth game, adjusting numerically and taking a look. Back and forth. Well, you know what? Microsoft prepared a more interactive method for us to work with the margins. Take a look. In the lower right corner of my print preview window, I've got two buttons. The first one down there is my margins. I'll give that a click. Now I'm going to go back to the first page. There we go. And you can see I've got these vertical and horizontal lines here and they represent my margins. So I'm going to grab this left hand side and I'll tug on it a little bit, not too much. I don't want to get too close to the edge of the page. Now, most printers, kind of your, your standard desktop printers that you have sitting next to your computer at, the, at your home or in the office, can't really print that close to the edge of the page. So now I've created a little bit more space, but you know what? I'm still getting that third page in there. Ooh, it's a little bit less. Hmm. I got to take a closer look at why I'm getting that there, because I can definitely see that I'm getting more space in there. Oh, you know what? I got these extra little tick marks at the top of the screen. These represent your column widths. Remember the lecture about changing the widths of your columns? These little tick marks right here represent those column widths. So I'm going to try adjusting this one here. Let's pull that out just a little bit. Oh, I got some more of that arrow. I'm still getting a third page. Let's look at that third page. Still barely there. I'm going to try pulling that just a little bit more because I got more real estate in there. I got some more space. Pull some more. All right, so it's still got that arrow. It must be growing with the slot, with the uh, with the cell itself, with the column. So we're gonna have to take a look at where else we can fix that. We'll see that here shortly. So inside of here, we got orientation, we got scaling, documents much larger in that landscape mode, and we got some margins that we can mess around with as well. So try this out. Open up your monthly budget. Go to print preview, remember it's file, print, jump into here, change your orientation, change your scaling, get that document to look good. We're going to look at a few more options here like fixing that arrow and fixing that chart. But try these out first.